Hey, hello, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at Marvel's epic collection, Avengers This Beachhead Earth. So firstly, for those that don't know, what is Marvel's epic collection? 1. Epic collections are a series of softcover collected editions from Marvel. 2. Epic collections generally seem to contain around 18 to 20 issues worth of material give or take an issue. 3. Epic collections may include issues from other titles that tie in with the stories in that particular volume. 4. As well as their better known characters such as Spider-Man or the Avengers, epic collections also cover lesser known characters such as Moon Knight or Shang-Chi. 5. Epic collections are not published starting with volume 1 and then 2 and then 3 and carrying on in that manner. The epic collections are published out of order. So there we go. Well, what about this particular volume? Well, if we take a look at the back, we can see that this is Avengers Volume 5, and this covers 1970 to 1972, and the contents are Avengers issues 77 to 97, and Incredible Hulk issue 140. So who and what have we got in this particular volume? Well, if we take a look at the cover, we can see, obviously, Black Panther is front and centre. He is a main member of the team in this volume. And we've got quite a key story for Black Panther in here, which I will get to momentarily. Um, so who's the rest of the team at the start of this volume? Well, as well as Black Panther, we have got Scarlet Witch, we can see over here. We've got Quicksilver, we've got the Vision, and we've got this chap here. And who is this? This is Goliath 2. Now, this may be confusing you a bit. Who on earth is Goliath 2? Well, Hank Pym, Henry Pym, he starts out as Ant-Man, then he becomes Giant-Man, and then he decides to change his name to Goliath. However, in this particular volume, he has gone back to being Ant-Man. So, who is this? This is Clint Barton, who we more usually know as Hawkeye. At this point, he's decided to stop being Hawkeye and take over Henry Pym's Goliath persona, and he's called himself Goliath too. Why did they do this? I, I don't know. You know, if they wanted to get rid of Hawkeye for some reason and keep Goliath, they could just have had Hawkeye leave and had Henry Pym on the team in his Goliath persona. Seems a weird way of doing it. Uh, okay, who else have we got in this volume? Well, we can see over here we have got Iron Man and Thor, and if we look on the back, we have got Captain America as well. They're not uh, regular team members at the start of this volume, but um, they return during it. Um, who else have we got? We've got uh, Falcon, he appears in here, uh, the Hulk, um, Ant-Man, as I've already mentioned, Ant-Man and Wasp. We've got Black Knight, we've got Black Widow, Valkyrie, uh, Medusa, Daredevil, a whole bunch of characters in here. We have also got Captain Marvel, making quite uh, a number of appearances in here. Now this is the original Captain Marvel. This is not Captain Marvel from the movies. That was Carol Danvers. This is not Carol Danvers. This is the original Captain Marvel. However, Carol Danvers does also appear in here, but this is before she's got any superpowers. So here she's just Carol Danvers, member of the US Air Force. Um, what about the contents? Well, let's see what it says on the back here, the little uh, write-up they give it, and then there's a couple of stories I want to mention specifically. So, this says, Roy Thomas's epic Avengers run continues with the origin of the Black Panther, the debut of the Lady Liberators, the return of the Squadron Sinister, and the all-time classic Kree Scroll War. Caught in the crossfire, Earth has become the staging ground for a conflict of star-spanning proportions. For two eternal intergalactic enemies, the merciless Kree and the shape-changing scrolls have gone to war. 
and our planet is situated on the front lines. Can Earth's mightiest heroes, the Avengers, bring about an end to the fighting before humanity becomes a casualty of war? And what good are even a dozen superpowered champions against the vast military machines of two of the great empires of the cosmos? So that's the write-up. Now I also want to mention a couple of stories. Firstly, one that was mentioned there, and that is the Black Panther story. We get Black Panther's origin in this volume. We have a story where T'Challa himself relates his origin to his teammates. So we get to find out how he becomes Black Panther and his essentially his, his first uh, encounter with um, the criminal organization AIM uh, when he discovers them in Wakanda up to, uh, well let's say up to no good. So that is obviously quite a key story for Black Panther. That is very interesting, Black Panther's origin story. Now we also get another origin story. This is for a character called Red Wolf. And this is a Native American superhero character who, if I remember correctly, joins the West Coast Avengers at some point later on. So the Avengers get involved with him and in uh, his uh, adventure that he's currently on. And we also get his origin story. And then we also get, I mentioned, we got issue 140 of the Hulk in here. And that is because there is a Hulk story that starts out in an issue of the Avengers, but finishes off in the issue 140 of The Incredible Hulk. And that is, I have to say, quite a fascinating story, quite different to what I would expect for a Hulk story. And then, of course, the whole volume is finished off with, as I've already mentioned, this big Cree scroll war with the Avengers getting caught up in this conflict in the middle of it, which also involves the previously mentioned original Captain Marvel. And by the time you get through the volume, you realise that stories from the start have gone all the way through and everything's all kind of tied together as you've gone along. And that essentially is Marvel's Epic Collection Avengers Volume 5. I have to say with this particular volume, I do really like the way the stories all seem completely separate. And as you go through the volume, you discover that um, some of them all kind of tie in with each other at later points. So there we are, Marvel's Epic Collection, The Avengers Volume 5, This Beachhead Earth. That is it for this video. Until next time, remember, hit the thumbs up below, and I will see you in the next one.